What's up guys? We are up here at the very, very famous Battery Spencer, which is the most epic lookout point for the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> Having a little breakfast. <laughs> this place is really rad. It's kind of like you're in an old abandoned ghost town, but this used to be like a military installation. They had three massive guns that would kind of protect the bay and the harbor and the bridge. And this was all built back in the 1800s, like 1897, this was built and was used for like 50 years until like, I think technology kind of surpassed the ability of this place. So they like tore it down, decommissioned it. But it's really cool. It's all still here and you can walk into all of these rooms and there's just nothing in them. Kind of creepy. There's like nobody up here. It's a little early in the morning. Shell doesn't like coming in the buildings cause they kind of smell like urine, but she's doing it. She's doing it for the photos. She's overcoming. That is the power of the human spirit. <laughs> All right, we're just coming up out of this barracks storeroom area. This is where one of the big guns was mounted right there. Huge 12 inch barrels. There's three of them up here. Coming up out of here, we're gonna go enjoy this view of the Golden Gate Bridge here. Hey it's clearing up for us. When we first got here, it was completely covered, covered in clouds. In clouds. <laughs> like you literally couldn't see a thing. Yeah, so we were like, well, let's take some pictures anyways, because I don't know if we'll be able to get back up here before we leave. And it's totally, totally clearing up. And there's nobody up here, I think, because everyone's like, oh, obviously there's not going to be a good view, which we should have known. Well, we did. But there's nobody up here now. We gotta have free reign of photography here on the Golden Great Bridge this morning, which is really awesome. Guys, the clouds are rolling back in up here, but we got some shots in. We got plenty we of did. shots in. Whoa, sorry, I fell, I fell. <laughs> <laughs> so I think what we're up to now is there's a mythical rope swing down at Kirby Cove is what it's called. So there's a trail back there on that hillside that goes down to a beach just down there. And so we're gonna check it out. We'll see if the swing's there or not. No one has been able to confirm if the swing still exists or not. We've heard it gets torn down, put up I think frequently. it's hit or miss. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's not. But we'll go find out. We're gonna go see if it's there and we'll let you know for sure, is there a swing there or is there not a swing in Kirby Cove? At this time. Today. <laughs> it could yeah. be one tomorrow, I guess. Daniel's breaking out his muffin. My muffin? <laughs> Can you see Daniel's muffin? Do I have muffin in my teeth? You have it on your beard. <laughs> We're walking down to the swing. We'll let you know if we find it or not. Apparently we have read that it's like a 50-50 chance that it's ever there because people cut it down. I don't know who cuts it down. We've got Babe here with his blueberry muffin, yum yum. We've got pretty yellow flowers here and we've got the ocean. And I'll tell you, the ocean is my favorite. My favorite thing in the entire world. And I think I get that from my cute daddy. Daddy, happy Father's Day. All right guys, I think we found the swing. I'm trying to figure out what happened here. There's rope in this tree, but this tree's like totally tipped down on the side. I don't know how there was a rope swing on this tree. I'm trying to figure this out. There's definitely not a swing here. So I'm trying to figure out where maybe it used to be. And it had to have been here because there's definitely rope hanging from this branch up there. But I don't know how there was a swing hanging from that.
All right, guys, Shell's trying to take photos, but I'm only interested in finding out the mystery of the swing, <laughs> and I think I figured it out. I'm just looking at pictures online, and it looks like this tree here came out this way, and that is what the swing is on. So someone really didn't want that swing here anymore, and that tree has been totally chopped off and cut down. I don't know where it went. No more rope swing at Kirby Cove, guys. It is gone, and it is gone for good. Oh my gosh. If any of you guys don't know, it's a great topic to talk about. <laughs> anyway, Shell has this unnatural fear of using porta potties or bathrooms that are just as a hole. I honestly would rather pee outside. Sorry. <laughs> but holes in like confined little spaces with closed doors, I can't do it. I just can't. She did though. She just <laughs> did it. I'm super proud of her. I made him stand there holding the door. She makes me hold the door open and then stand guard so she's not closed in. <laughs> I can't be closed in. About a mile hike down, mile hike up, pretty moderate. It's more like a walk. It's not really a hike. Yeah, not really a hike, more like a walk. Anyways, that was amazing. Even though the swing was not there, I definitely recommend coming down here for a great view of the bridge, the city, the beach, everything. We just tried out Rome Artisan Burgers. Recommendation from a good friend of Shell's. Really good. Now we're really tired because we are full bellies and we just did that leisure walk, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of want to ride the cable car because it's kind of something you have to do in San Fran. There's no way that this cable car ride will be as epic or as energetic as when we were here last time because with the Bingham fam. Having everyone there just makes it so much more fun and more energetic. So this ride's probably not even going to compare at all, unfortunately, so I'm sorry. I just don't have that Bingham energy. You don't have what? <laughs> the Bingham energy. <laughs> The line though, two blocks down that way at Powell Street was about an hour wait. So we just walked up two blocks because we heard they stop every two blocks. We're gonna try and jump on to one as it leaves that station and comes up this way. We'll see how that works out, guys. One's actually coming right now. We'll see if we can get on this. There was tons of room on this one. We did not wait in line at the bottom. We just went two blocks up and jumped right on, paid in cab. I can smell them. <laughs> Lombard Street. We're on the wrong side of the car. We're not giving up our spots to go look at Lombard no, Street right sorry. now. Sorry, we've seen it. It's really cool. We highly recommend seeing it. We got Alcatraz out in front of us. That was awesome. That was fun. Guys, we jumped on that trolley. We didn't even know where it was gonna end up. We just wanted to ride. Seriously, like don't even ride it to get to the destination. Just ride it to ride it. Yeah, we just jumped on on a random stop. We have no idea. But it took us where we wanted to go, so it was perfect. Yeah, we're somewhere by Fisherman's Wharf. Oh wow, welcome to Fisherman's Wharf. We're <laughs> <laughs> where we wanted to be. Car. That's perfect because we were just on one. So what I'm gonna have my husband do now is drill holes in the side of this and make a little bracelet out of my San Francisco penny. I've been waiting for this, guys. This is why I'm in San Francisco. You're trying it first? No, I'm... <laughs> it's good. It's way good. What happened? We need real silverware here, folks. These bread bowls are tough. Babe's digging at his bread bowl a little bit too hard right now. He broke both of his spoons. Shell is so scared one of those seagulls is gonna poop on her. I am terrified of seagulls pooping on me. Every time one flies over, she runs for cover. <laughs> 
Guys, that bread bowl was everything I dreamed of. That sourdough is so good. The sea lions never disappoint. To top the night off, we are gonna go catch the sunset out on, on the water. a boat from the water. <laughs> Hopefully we actually see the sunset. So here's our boat right here. It's a little chilly, but it's not that cold. Everybody too. is inside and nobody is out here in the front except the crew members. <laughs> but we're doing it, we're gonna rough it, stay outside. I just got nailed by a big wave out there. <laughs> this whole camera got wet, but GoPro's going strong. <laughs> We're about to go under the bridge here. <laughs> that poor girl, she got drenched. It's like a massive tidal wave just came up and <laughs> Yeah, it only got half my body, but it got the full part of this girl's <laughs> body. <laughs> she went under, needless to say, and she what? missed going under the bridge. <laughs> this morning we were down at Kirby Cove, which is right over there. That was that beach where we were taking photos this morning. That was the bomb. That was so much fun. It was freezing. We can't feel our fingers or our toes. But I will tell you, I think we were the only people on the entire boat that didn't go down and inside the whole time because it was just too much fun and too beautiful. I'm like, hello, I yeah. want a sailboat. I want to be outside enjoying the beautifulness of it. You have to see San Francisco from the water, like have to. That's the second time we've done it. The first time was with my family and we went on one of those big ferry boats, which was so fun and so beautiful. But I will say that this sailboat catamaran that we went on, it's just a little bit more intimate. Yeah, good word. That's yeah. what I was thinking. I don't know. I liked that a little bit better, but I will say the weather when we did it with my family was a lot better. Didn't really see much of a sunset. but Definitely no sunset. <laughs> definitely saw some waves. So much fun though. You have to see it from the water. Yes. We're off to Girardelli. We need to get some of that warm hot fudge, you know, warm us back up. Yep. And then we're probably going to call it a night. It's been an awesome day. This has really been a great San Francisco day. We it just really did has. so much cool San Francisco stuff. Like it's must been... do's happened today. Yes. Tons of must do's for sure. What a day, guys. Best day in San Francisco yet. Thank you guys for day watching. Two. <laughs> <laughs> it's our second and best day so far. It yeah. was an awesome day. We had so much fun. We were able to see a lot. Tomorrow we have a ton more coming up, so make sure you guys subscribe down below if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bell so that you know when we are posting, and make sure you check out our Instagram, at Dan and Shell, because we're posting lots of fun pictures and stories on there, too. Fun. Yeah, we'll Good see you night. guys tomorrow.